Good afternoon, Nick. This is Jesse Evans with BMW of Salem. Thanks again for reaching out to us. I appreciate the opportunity to help you with our Forerunner. Um, I apologize about the wind noise, which is probably pretty bad, um, but I'm going to take this opportunity to do a little bit of a walk around video for the Forerunner so that you can kind of take a look at the paint and whatnot and inside as well. Um, as I mentioned uh, on the phone, uh, the photos that we put on our website are usually pretty accurate in terms of the actual condition of the car. Um, I already walked around a little bit and uh, yeah, I have no doubts that uh, you'd be happy with it, but uh, yeah, let's, let's get you a little bit up closer look. This is usually where you'd be hammered with rock chips and things like that, but she's she's pretty clean. I'm gonna get a little bit lower here so you can see what little bit of uh, rock chips and stuff like that there are and scuffs along the bottom, but it's, uh, well, it's certainly nothing that uh, you'd be concerned about with this type of a vehicle. up alongside so you can really see. Like, I'm not saying the paint is perfect or anything, but uh, it is super, super clean and I'm not, I don't notice really any dings or anything like that either. Sorry, we're really close to uh, some train tracks. <laughs> go all the way around and then I'm going to start opening the doors and stuff. A little bit of paint missing right here. Really minor scuff. All right, let me go ahead and open her up so you can see inside. back out so I can show you the headliner as well. I'll hop in the back too.
very clean back here. buddy so yeah she's in real nice shape I have no doubt that uh, that you'd be happy with uh, the condition of this guy and again like I said you know we do a we do a full uh, inspection on the vehicle make sure that everything's good mechanically and let me close this guy here So yeah, um, I hope that you do decide to come and take a look at this this Saturday. Trying to think if there's anything else. Um, oh, I did notice it was a, you'd asked if it was a push button start. Yes, it is. It's got a push button start. Oh, but you know what I didn't uh, check? As I didn't check and see if it was a remote start. So on the key, well, I'm looking at the key and at least there's no remote start button on the key. So I'll have to look into that a little bit more. Sorry I didn't get that, but I'll, uh, I'll find the answer for you here pretty shortly. Um, if there's anything else that you can think of, again, my cell phone number is 503-477-3616. Again, that's 503-477-3616. Uh, feel free to give me a call or send me a text message with any questions you guys have about this car. Um, yeah, thanks again. Look forward to hearing back from you.